people I arrived safe and the place looks fine a little blown around by the wind but all looks pretty good though I did get a problem on the way in looks like I'll be trying to sort out this flat um, see what I can do about uh, fixing the leak or perhaps having to change it to the spare tire not a job I wanted to do straight away but uh, important I get that fixed Looking at the wheel, the only real spot I see that could be a hole is this one. So, first thing I'm, it hasn't got enough air in it anymore to work out if that's a puncture or not, so I'm going to have to fill it with air and then put some soapy water on it and see where the bubbles come out. So I put about 10 pounds or 10 psi in there and it's definitely leaking from that hole that I found. So um, let me just spray it again so you can see it. Yeah, definitely leaking from there. So I'm going to try and fix that leak. Okay, I've uh, put in some of that... Um, fluid to try and fix the leak from the inside. It's kind of a quick stop gap. If it's more serious then I'll put in a, um, a uh, puncture repair, a bit of rubber. But for the moment it seems to be holding air. I put the puncture down on the bottom so that the um, liquid is being forced through the gap. It's holding air. It's about 25 psi now. So we'll see how it goes. I'll give it about 10 minutes and then check it again. Sorry for the wind but I just sprayed where the hole was, where the puncture was, and now there's no air coming out, so I think I've sealed it. So now I need to put the tyre on and run it around for about 5-10 minutes on the car just to make sure it's sealed up properly. I'll add a bit more air as well. On. It seems okay for the moment. I've got about 30 pounds PSI in it. I'm just going to uh, take a bit of, bit of drive around and um, make sure it's okay. Maybe try and put a bit more air in it. Well, so far so good. It's holding pressure. Um, there's no evidence of uh, any more air leaking out of that spot. So I'm just going to park it with that side down onto the ground and uh, let it settle but it goes to show how you need to get prepared for this kind of stuff out in the bush there's no one around here to help me so you know I had the jack and so on but I also had a couple of options with repairing that leak I had the uh, can of tire repair stuff I have the um, the rubber uh, puncture fix kit um, but I go with the easy one first and then you know I'm, I'm fully aware that I might have to take this tire off again and um, put the, the repair kit on it um, but it should be enough to get me um, back to civilization and um, to get a proper repair and maybe it's time for new tires but yeah need to have the repair kit need to have uh, the ability to inflate the tires so you need to carry a pump with you so yeah Whew, that was an unexpected job anyway I'm glad that seems to be working Okay, thanks for watching this bit. <laughs> thanks to all my subscribers. See you all soon. Hopefully, if you see this video, I made it back. Just as a follow-up to yesterday when I fixed the repair, fixed the puncture on this tire, it's all looking good. It kept its pressure overnight, and I've just uh, towed the trailer down the steep hill and everything is looking good. I've got all the equipment if I needed to fix it again while I'm down here, but at the moment we're looking good. So um, 
we'll see how it goes. I'll check it when I get back to uh, civilization, I guess. But uh, for now, puncture repaired. <laughs>